Are you studying? No. Oh, what you doing? I'm getting ready to read this book. Oh, is it for pleasure or for school? I guess both. Good day. Good day. Good morning, tribe. Welcome to another daily vlog. Today is the third day of October. <laughs> Today is October 3rd. It's a Thursday. It's my off day. I had all these plans today. I was going to go shopping. I was going to get a pedicure. And I was going to wax. And yeah, it's... 10 o'clock and nothing's gotten done. So, except for my skincare routine. I did my skincare. Because that's my morning ritual and my night ritual. So, I'm about to make some coffee. And try to get my day started. I do have school tonight from 6 to 10. So, hopefully I can get all my stuff done before then. Because I do have some homework to do. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Mare. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. And let's go. Turn right. At the stop sign, turn right onto Shelbyville Pike. It's a very beautiful day outside. Um, KJ and I just went to the post office to mail something. And we are now going back home. KJ, do you want to say hi? So I'm back home now and I'm going to uh, heat up some leftovers so I can have something to eat and then get to my homework. I'm just feeling so tired, y'all. I'm feeling so worn out. And you know, I overslept this morning so I didn't get a chance to get my son to school on time. That's the third time he's been late this school year and it's only beginning of October so I'm sure I'm going to be getting a phone call or email or a letter in the mail saying why is your kid late and that's my fault that's my fault because there's no reason why he should be late we live across the street from the school but at any rate warm up some leftovers and try to get out of this tired funk I don't know, y'all. It's just like ever since I started working, no. I have been so tired. I don't care how much sleep I get, how many vitamins I take. I am tired. And I wish that I knew how to fix it. Um, I know somebody in the gonna say, Why don't you exercise? to get rid of you being tired child i feel like i exercise all the time because my job is so physical that every day when i leave work i am literally sore so i feel like i exercise every day but my body is just so tired and i don't know if it's because i'm aging or what but I don't know. I took B12 shots for about a month after my surgery. And then they said, when you hit your six month mark, then you can take the B12 shots again. It's like a week's worth of B12 shots, which I purchased at the uh, weight loss clinic. Not the weight loss clinic, the surgery, surgery center. 
So oh, it's too soon it's to take another B12 shot because I've already um, done it within the first six months and it's and my surgery was in was only four months it's ago. Sisters. So anyways, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with chronic fatigue. And I do have CPAP therapy. I do sleep with a CPAP machine. So I'm supposed to be getting quality sleep. But I'm just tired, y'all. All right. Um, that's enough complaining for today. Okay, this is what I'm having for lunch. I'm not going to be able to eat all this, but Can they have some I have the mixed vegetables, the rice, rice and the baked chicken. Want some rice. You want some rice? Yeah. Okay. Was it good? Yeah. Do you like rice? Yeah, I like rice. Can they have some? Can I have some? Of course you can. Hmm? I fell. I can make everything. Be careful. You don't want you don't want any broccoli? No, I don't want broccoli. Okay. Uh uh. Stop. Rice. I want some rice. So I'm just doing my civil procedure homework. This is the class that I have tonight. And we're studying venue. We already studied subject matter jurisdiction. And we've already studied um, personal jurisdiction. So every time I sit down to read, I always fall asleep. So I'm gonna try to stay awake. I might have to stand. Cause you can let them know, man. You don't need to say any prayers. I asked for a week off in February. And they granted my request. Yeah. What happened in February? The law school, Black, National Black Law School Association is holding their annual convention in Nashville. Oh. So I wanted to go. Yeah. Dang, it's already 4.30. I guess I better get dressed. Yeah. That's so good. They granted that. Yeah, I guess they surprised you. It's gonna be there that long, babe. Oh, you got jokes. Huh? You got jokes? No, I'm saying because everybody quit. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Oh, they just hired um a new person. Yeah. He uh You ever seen that movie Magic Mike? Uh uh. Oh. You know who Channing Tatum is? Yes. He looks just like him. Oh. Yeah. He's, he started this week. I had to train him. Yeah. I hope he stick around so we won't be short-staffed again. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I am headed to school. be able to really vlog. I'm in my husband's car and uh, my phone stand is not in here. But essentially, I'm headed to school and um, tonight I have two classes and then after that, back to home and sleeping and yeah, work tomorrow. today when I was supposed to be studying I ain't even gonna lie I was tired I needed some rest I told y'all I, I, I be tired all the time 
So when I put the baby down for a nap, I put my toddler down for a nap. I took a nap too. Then I got up and finished my homework or whatever. But y'all, I will hopefully check back in on y'all later. You know, while I'm sitting here in traffic, I was just thinking it's so crazy to me how um, a lot of times people will look at their life and just be like dang I got it so difficult I got it so hard and then they never stop to really think that somebody can have it harder somebody can have it more difficult than them and that's not to take away from their experience like that's not to say that they don't matter they absolutely matter in the grand scheme of things though it's like things can be 10 times worse you ever knew somebody that just couldn't get up no matter how hard they tried just life just kept knocking them down knocking them down or they just hit a final blow where they couldn't take it no more and they just gave up on life like when I drive downtown Nashville and I see all the homeless people and the homeless women and the homeless children I just say to myself like wow you know a lot of people are really blessed really truly blessed but they have no idea because that's never been their story and they can't see the forest for the trees meaning they can't see that they're blessed because they don't have everything that they want but they have more than a lot of people so when I complain about being tired when I complain about working a lot or I complain about school or whatever have you, I'm constantly reminded, like God is constantly reminding me that I'm blessed. I'm blessed in more ways than one. Every time I, you know, my head hit that pillow, I just thank God so much for, you know, everything he's done, everything he's done for me, my family, um, it's just truly authentically inspiring to see how far I've come in life because of his grace and mercy not because of anything that I've done yeah so I just had that little food for thought so I'm at school I'm on campus Headed straight for the library because I got to print out tonight's PowerPoints. I used to print it out at home, but I common sense to tell you if it's free, you print at school, print at school. So that's what I'm going to do. Hey Brooke, I'm good. How are you? Doing good. I'm in class. I'm to do my property class. Hey y'all, class is over. I'm headed home. It is almost 10 o'clock p.m. and I am doing okay. One of my classes had some questions that I wasn't prepared for that were in a PowerPoint slide that was sent to us last week and I didn't notice those questions. So that was a little bit off-putting because I like to be prepared for class in case I get called on, you know? And then there was a girl at school today, I guess she was, I don't know, in her feelings. So she said something that upset me. And I was thinking to myself, like, here we go. But then I just sit down and I Googled, like, how to overcome a bad day. And, like, people had on there, like, 
start like listing things that you're grateful for start talking about things that you have that you're thankful for and I was like wow that's literally what I was talking about in the video earlier when I was headed to school it was just gratitude 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 and then they were saying like do something good for somebody else because usually if you do something good for somebody else it will uplift, uplift your spirit I mean that's the goal right so I don't know it's like you can't win them all right you absolutely can't win them all you can be the kindest sweetest gentle loving soul to ever walk this earth and somebody gonna have a problem with you somebody gonna find fault in you and I'm not saying I'm all that like I'm not saying I'm the most kindest most gentlest spirit walking the earth I'm not saying that at all but I do go out of my way to treat people the way I want to be treated for the most part now I have bad days like everybody else so that's why I'm giving sister girl grace because I'm like maybe she having a bad day maybe she having a bad week maybe she having a bad month maybe she having a bad year who knows but it did kind of like you know upset me a little bit because I'm thinking like wow you know you never really prepared when stuff go wrong you never really prepared for how to respond but I've been reading all these really like positive affirmation and self-help books to try to like put me on the offense instead of the defense as it relates to um you know things and situations in life that happen unexpectedly and I know I'm talking a lot in this video but another thing I wanted to say is be the change you want to see if somebody pop off smart with you or get an attitude with you or treat you unkindly make it your business to go out of your way to be kind to somebody I don't care if it's the janitor if it's the bus driver if it's the parking lot attendant just make it your business to be overtly kind be the change you want to see don't ever think that what somebody doing as far as negativity is personal because it more than likely doesn't have anything to do with you it's probably something that's internally in their you know locus of control so don't take it personal be the change you want to see and pray for them you know, it's easy to pray for people that you like. It's easy to pray for people that you love. It's easy to pray for people who are vulnerable and all those things. But it's hard to pray for mean people. It's hard to pray for people you don't like. It's hard to pray for people who've done you wrong. It's hard. That's why God said pray for your enemies. Pray for those who spitefully use you. Pray for those who, you know, are not believers because you want God to do the change in them that he did in you you know some of us forget where we came from I forget it wasn't that too long ago but I absolutely believe in the power of prayer and I need to do more of it I need to be more transparent with the Lord you know I take for granted sometimes that he see all and he know all so I'm just like you know but shoot, I be cussing people out in my head. I mean, my thoughts don't be pure at all when somebody hurt me. I just be thinking to myself, like, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? But um, my Bible study um, group and I have been going through the book of Job this month and last month. And it's just so evident that we assume as Christians that our life is supposed to be easy. Our life is supposed to be simple. Things are supposed to be happening to us that are all good and no bad. And Job said in the in his you know in the Bible, why would you take good from God and not evil? Like foolish woman. You know, that's what he said to his wife. So that's a word for you right there. Expect for there to be challenges in this walk if you call yourself a Christian. Don't ever think that because you a Christian, God owe you something. He don't owe you nothing. Alrighty, guys. I just made it home. 
I was super hungry when I was driving here, but now that I'm home, I just want my cup of tea and to go to bed. Um, I'm also going to um, take my vitamins. So, yeah, I think I closed out the walk in the last video. But I just wanted to let y'all know I made it home, okay? Alright. It was crazy because when I walked in the house, like, the lights was on. But, like, the house looked completely empty. Like, I think the kids avoided me because they think, dang, if we run into her, she's going to make us do something. Like, she's going to have something for us to do. So, I think they, like, intentionally, like, ran upstairs when they heard my key in the door or whatever. So, they don't have to, um do nothing that's okay i don't need them to do nothing for me no way just make sure my kitchen clean when i get home make sure my kitchen clean y'all know how how we are as parents we we just want our house clean when we get home from work or from school or wherever we coming from child that was a uh, unspoken rule in our house you better not go to sleep with no dishes in the sink you're gonna get more than your feelings hurt so Patients. They're called berry melt multivitamin with iron. More chewable. And then this biotin is 5,000 micrograms per serving. And you're supposed to take one a day. It says it's only 16% of your daily value though and then these are allergy peels which I take every day <clears throat> to keep my allergies at bay Now these horse peels right here. I had the chewable ones, but these were more affordable because you get two pack for like dirt cheap. And then last but not least is the magnesium. And you just take one of these. And magnesium is something that everybody in their 40s need because it's good for muscle support muscle relaxation nerve health heart health and bone health so if you ain't hip and it help you sleep so if you ain't hip you need to get with it and then i also take vitamin d um which is also a dissolvable dissolvable tablet i take 5,000 units a week so i take one a week you just put it under your tongue and it dissolves. And then I usually make myself a cup of tea. I get a decaf green tea. I only drink decaf tea at night because I want to be a uh, wide awake when everybody else sleep. How you doing? And that's all she wrote, baby. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow.